Good morning. I get 21 points on Weight Watchers and black coffee is zero points. For breakfast this morning, I'm going to have pancakes. So I have my Kodiak pancake mixes all made up and then I found these Lily's pumpkin spice flavored chips at Walmart this past week actually. And for 23 of these, it's only one point. So that's a four point breakfast is all. For my pancake batter, I measure out three eighths of a cup. Three eighths is just under the half cup line. And this is just three points and it makes three good sized pancakes. I counted out 23 chips. I'm gonna put them right into the batter, mix them up really good and then make it in the pan. I decided I'm gonna add a banana to the pancake batter. When I make these pancakes, I usually do banana and blueberry and I like the sweetness of the banana in the pancake mix. These are cooking up really good. Look at those chips in these pancakes. And when the heat hits those chips, you can smell that pumpkin spice. Oh my, I think these are just gonna be a lovely breakfast and treat. I am gonna spray just a little bit of the, I can't believe it's not spray butter, butter <laughs> on the pancakes. I still am working on my coffee and I'm gonna enjoy this yummy smelling breakfast. Breakfast ended up being really good, but I am glad that I added that banana to the pancake batter because it gave it a lot more flavor, but the chips throughout the pancakes were really tasty. I'm really glad that I found those at Walmart this season. Okay, so for lunch today, I am going to make soup. I've been into this Progresso soup and this one is so far my favorite one out of the ones I've tried, which is only two kinds, but you know. Uh, Italian style meatball and for this entire can, it is four points. Now if you just want half of the can, it would only be two points. And then on the side of this, I'm going to have a toasted cheese sandwich, but I'm gonna make it with two slices of the Sara Lee Delight 45 calorie bread. That will be two points, along with a slice of Velveeta cheese, which is one point. And to toast it up, I like to use a little bit of spray butter on the outsides of the bread. So I think that's gonna be a really good, well-rounded lunch for soup and toasted cheese sandwich and it all equals out to seven points. I'm also working on my water. I usually try to do two of these for the day. I found this at Target. I will have it linked below. Jason ended up getting out this morning and going to Sam's Club and United and he got the rest of our groceries that we needed. So I'm gonna give you that little tiny grocery haul really quickly. Him and Timothy are absolutely loving this Act Two popcorn. They actually are liking it over the over Redenbacher buttered popcorn. He couldn't find their egg rolls that they usually buy at Sam's Club, so he found these at United. And then he got some French vanilla ice cream, some more of my fudge bars from Sam's Club. I love these things. A pack of chicken. This is running $2.98 a pound, making this pack $23.30. A roast. This is running $3.98 a pound, making this $22.13. We needed some more bath tissue. We love the member's mark from Sam's Club. And then my hint water. Oh, I just, I drink this on a daily basis with like dinner, sometimes with dinner and lunch. It's so good. And then we got this pack of ballpark hot dogs. Jason forgot to show me this. He had put it away in the refrigerator in the house. Timothy absolutely loved this Stoke pumpkin flavored coffee. It has like a pumpkin creamer right in the Stoke coffee. This stuff is so good. So he asked Jason to pick up another one and then we got the fat-free half and half we were looking for. Jason just put all of the bath tissue up on the top shelf in the laundry room. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. You can hear the washer going in the background. Justin's doing his laundry. Good job, Justin. You're gonna smell pretty. All the water is put away for the week and the coffee is out here. Timmy, dad got you more coffee. Found you more pumpkin coffee. Hey, cool, thanks. Yep. And then we have hot dogs. We're gonna be splitting these up and also the meats. We'll be getting those prepped and ready in a future video, so be watching for it. For an afternoon pick-me-up, I'm gonna make me my favorite coffee, which is the Girl Scout Caramel Coconut Coffee, and enjoy that, and hopefully this gives me some energy. This is zero points. This is what our Saturdays usually look like. This is like the background noise in our home on Saturdays. Today, we root for 
Michigan Wolverines because if you're new to my channel we were born and raised in Michigan we moved out here to Texas with my husband's job and we root for Michigan Wolverines and they're having a really good year this year I hope it just you know stays that way but today the game we watched they played Penn State and now we just kind of watch all the other games going on to see the rankings and how everybody's gonna end up ranking but this is how we spend our fall Saturdays usually. <laughs> hey Cooper, are you gonna help me cook dinner? Are you gonna be my assistant? You're a good assistant. This morning I ended up putting together a marinade and that is going to be helping me with dinner tonight. Let me show you what I did. The ingredients are Worcestershire, soy sauce, lemon juice, minced garlic, Dijon mustard, have olive oil back here, some Italian seasoning, and brown sugar, and salt and pepper. Um, I forgot, this recipe also takes balsamic vinegar. I will have the full marinade down below for you with all the measurements and everything, but it is a chicken marinade, but tonight instead of chicken, we're going to use pork. Actually, it's pork loin. We just cut it into smaller pieces, and we want to grill it. So on the side of that, Jason has requested some stovetop stuffing. I'm gonna use this savory herb stovetop stuffing. And he also requested corn. So we're gonna head out to the garage. Oh, it's right on the top, perfect. I have a super sweet corn. And wouldn't you know it, we ran out of propane. <laughs> So Jason got the tank really quickly and he ran to a store that's not too far from us. There's other dogs barking from our neighbor's yards and so Cooper runs around the yard barking at them. So you can hear him kind of growling and huffing and puffing back at these dogs. <laughs> but Jason ran really quickly anyway and he's getting the tank filled up so that we can grill that pork loin. <laughs> as far as the marinade, I am not gonna count that. This is what makes Weight Watchers personal, personal points for each of us. We all know how our bodies work. If you want to count it because it has a little olive oil in it and a little bit of brown sugar, please do so. You can easily go into your Weight Watcher app and you can look up the recipe builder and you can build the recipe right in there and it'll calculate it just for you. But I figure with all the water I'm drinking and the activity that I'm going to be doing, I am not even going to worry about it. It all equals out and it's fine. Pork loin is one point per ounce. I am going to have three ounces of pork loin. For a half a cup of stovetop stuffing, it is three points. I just figured out the super sweet corn. And for two thirds of a cup, it is three points. I am not gonna take the three points. I'm gonna lower mine to a half of a cup and that is two points. Yay, we can grill now. Thank you, Jason. Welcome. I am making up some little potato type wedges in my air fryer really quickly for anybody that doesn't want the stove top stuffing. Plus these are zero points for me if I decide to have any. But I sprayed them with a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna use the, we're so stuck on this, the Kinders wood fired garlic seasoning. We get this at Sam's Club. Pork loin is cooking on the grill. It smells fantastic. If you use stove top stuffing, you could easily add some cranberries in this. Ooh, that would be good too. This is what dinner looks like. I chop mine right up into bite-sized pieces so I can just sit and enjoy it. Now that the kitchen is all cleaned up, we are going to get on our tennis shoes and we are going to head out the door and go for a walk. There's nothing like a sunset. This one is breathtaking tonight. The Texas sky never disappoints. It seems like you can look for miles and miles and just see that big old Texas sky. Look out, there's an alligator under the tree. <laughs> Just kidding, this is a yard decoration. I think he is adorable. I'm really hoping to find some Halloween decorations on this walk. We turn the corner and we have shadows. I was trying to wave my arm around a little bit just to say hi to you, my little shadow person. Yes, I'm that girl that my shadow person still waves and does silly things. I find these plants so fascinating. I'm sure you know the name of them. I'm not sure about it, but they get little fuzzy things on the top of them. They're so pretty. And then this tree, oh my goodness, isn't it cute? 
we just saw a monarch butterfly fly past us and I couldn't find it again. I wanted so bad to capture it on camera and I could not find it again. Now we're on like this small incline coming back up and around the neighborhood. You wouldn't think that this wears you out too much, but it makes you a little bit out of breath. <laughs> it's more of an incline than what you think. Usually when it is really warm in the summer, when coming back this way, the sun hits us. But at this time of the year, it's perfect. There was hardly any sun out, no heat. It was gorgeous walking up this little incline of a hill. I could not resist the sunset. I'm getting it from all angles. Now we are entering what we call the new section. We call this the new section because it is a whole nother section of our neighborhood that they have just been starting, oh, probably about a couple years ago, maybe even three years ago. It's pretty new. They're still building quite a bit of houses in here. Look at that big old camper. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we spotted a tarantula on the side of someone's house. Uh, we kept walking. No, thank you. The way the sunshine was playing on the clouds in the sky was beautiful, too. So I just had to show you. Way off in the distance, there is a balloon flying through the air. Yep, right there. Poor child, whoever lost this balloon, I'm sure they were not happy. There was actually a couple different balloons flying through the air. Somebody was having a party somewhere around here and oh, they were losing their little balloons. I am still looking for some Halloween decorations, but it was too early in the evening for anybody to have any of their lights on. There were some that were laying in their yards that were the blow up type Halloween decorations. They weren't quite inflated yet. That was a bummer. Here's another little peek at that gorgeous sunset. It seems like it looks different on every single road. Now we are back into our section, which has been here for, oh, probably about 10 years, and we are headed home. It's just starting to get dark. A couple of the streetlights turned on, but it's still gorgeous. I personally wanted to keep walking, but it was getting late, and I knew we needed to get home so we could rest up a little bit. This is our road, and we didn't have the gorgeous sunset at this time of night down our road, but that's okay. I thought those clouds looked really pretty. That was an absolutely beautiful walk. We thoroughly enjoyed that. Me and the boys went, Jason stayed here to babysit Cooper. I mean, Cooper to babysit Jason. Did he do a good job? Yes. Good. <laughs> we got over 2,000 steps on just that walk alone, so I am a happy girl. I usually try to go for about one to 2,000 steps while we're out, or sometimes we even do 3,000 steps. It just depends on how we're feeling and the heat index. <laughs> I have two points left for the day, and I am gonna enjoy this fudge bar. It's the Healthy Choice Fudge Bar. I find mine out at Sam's Club. It's two points, and this is gonna help cool me down after that walk. Need to catch up on some Vlogtober videos? I have two of them right here for you. All you have to do is click away and enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow.